Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go over loop ring. Right now, we are trading at 29.89. 24 hour volume, we are down 1.15%, and market cap, we are down 2.83%. All right, so heading over to our chart here, I'm going to cover our daily chart and then immediate short term for two hours. But if we take a look at our, day, our daily chart itself, we are continuously making a lot of higher low peaks here following our trend line that's coming downward. Not only that, but we are continuously making a lot of higher low peaks. So essentially, we're going down in this descending corridor chart pattern, which we are um, extremely, extremely bearish at the moment, because if we see we have a retest or had a retest here on September 4th of our 20 moving average. And then once we retested that once again, we were able to stay above it roughly around two or three days until price retraced all the way down below our 20 moving average here, which essentially changed or continued the pattern of this bearish trend. Now, as we are taking a look at our current today, we can see a few factors or indicators here. So one of the indicators here is our MACD line. Notice again how small the spaces are in between the blue MACD line and the signal line, which is the orange line. Typically when there is very, very minimal spaces in between, it says that the trend itself is slowly ending and could possibly have a newer trend. So if we take a look at this, this has been a bear trend itself, getting lighter in the colors, getting smaller in the bars itself, meaning that we may actually come from a bearish market into more of a bullish market turning from red over to green. And essentially when that happens and an area of resistance, we are most likely going to break above that area of resistance and close above it. However, what we do have something, um, our indicator as well is the RSI. And if we take a look at the RSI numbers, we do see this pinch that the lines are creating here. So we see it at 69% and 71%. Typically here at 81% at this candlestick coming up to our retracement level at 78% was considered as overbought. And we see a crossover here generating a selling opportunity. However, the cross just happened in today's candle. So essentially we want to wait until today's close to be able to see if we actually had a selling opportunity here. And if this is going to go on strong for our side, we may see price drop to an area of support here at 28.68 here. We can see again a few candles retracing around this line here. And I zoom out as well. We can be able to see a few factors back here that treated this area as a good support all the way back in June. So again, it is going to be a retested um, area of our FIB chart roughly around this area if we can be able to hold it on. Now going into immediate short term for two hours, we are looking at more refined candlestick as the price is coming down to an area of support at 29.41. If you see this area of support, and I move over to the left hand side, it is roughly around the retracements of these candlestick wicks, but most importantly, the bodies here on September 20th and September 21st. Also again, it's at 78% of our FIB, which is one of the golden numbers that we are going to be reading testing, as we can see, the RSI itself is retracing downwards. And whenever we see the RSI coming down, essentially price is going to drop as well. And it is mirroring the same factor in our MACD indicator here that we are going strong in the red. And whenever we go strong in the red, you guys, then the price is going to come back down, retest areas of support, depending on how strong the momentum is. If we see an expansion of the MACD indicator with bigger bars at an area of support, then most likely we will break below it and break that key factor of support. And here is our next target. 2873. So watch out for consolidation today. Um, watch out for the retest of the 20 moving average as soon as we see um, loop ring be considered as oversold below 20% and seeing that crossover. Because depending on the current, if it does go from red to green, as we see that crossover, then we are going to come up and retest the 50%, which is the 30 and 32. So that's my video here, you guys, for Loop Ring. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.